Thank you, Claire. And now I present the president of our alumni association, Ron Jost. Ron. Thank you, Chancellor Johnson. 1992 graduates, parents, guests, Regent Craig, other dignitaries, and the UMM community. On behalf of the University of Minnesota Morris Alumni Association, I am here this afternoon to officially greet this year's graduating class and welcome you into the alumni fold. And I'll try to keep my remarks uh, rather short so that we don't lose any of our, our new alumni. Um, during your years at UMM, you have made many lifelong associations and friendships with fellow students, faculty, and staff. And whether you choose to remain locally, move to another city within Minnesota, or to another state or country, remember that you are among nearly 7,000 UMM alumni throughout the United States and foreign countries who have the distinction of sharing the unique UMM experience. As you leave here today, you will be the recipients of a diploma from a nationally and internationally recognized liberal arts institution that will open many doors whether you choose to enter the, enter the workforce now or continue your formal educational process. The liberal arts education you have experienced the past several years will provide the basis to pursue a specific career or allow you the choice to be as diversified as the opportunities that present themselves. And while you have specific goals, I also encourage you to be flexible and creative in your decision. Be willing to accept new challenges in order to fully utilize your educational experience. Your best years and best of times may be ahead of you, but we ask that you not forget your connection to UMM. The future of this campus and the unique educational legacy is dependent upon your continuing involvement and support. One of the methods for alumni to remain connected to the university is through the class agent concept. This program is used by many schools, and ours will be patterned after Gustavus Adolphus. As you know, Chancellor Johnson came to us from Gustavus, and one of the many excellent ideas he brought to this campus was the class agent program, which, by the way, is extremely successful at Gustavus. Essentially, the program is designed whereby graduating every ch each graduating class has a representative that serves as a liaison between their class alumni and the alumni board. By communicating via semi-annual newsletters, telephonically or face-to-face -face meetings, involvement and support for UMM programs and events will be greatly enhanced. The class agent is a prestigious position because of its importance to the future of UMM. To initiate the program and to ensure its initial manageability, the original class agents from the graduating classes from 1964 to 1990 will be clustered whereby one person will re represent three graduating years such as 1964, 65, and 66 for a total of 10 class agents initially. These people have been selected and the program will commence by the end of 1992. Beginning with 1991 graduating class, the representatives are selected annually. And last year, Alana Christensen was selected. The alumni board is proud to announce that the re representative for your class is Kim Jones. And if could, uh, Kim could stand up and be recognized, let's give her a warm round. <laughs> Congratulations, Kim, on your selection, and we look forward to your participation. Finally, the UMM Alumni Association also extends its congratulations to all of this year's graduating class. And we wish to express a very sincere thank you for exemplifying UMM's quest for academic excellence. Thank you, and we welcome you to the UMM alumni family. Thank you, and now on behalf of our Board of Regents, I call upon Regent Peggy Craig, an unflaggingly enthusiastic supporter of the vision of Morris. Peggy. Well, here you are with your diplomas, 
with your conferral of, conferral of degrees and ready to go out into, quote, the real world. The real world is right here, and the real world moves along with you. Use it to, its, to the utmost and enjoy it to the fullest. It's a great pleasure for me to be here to represent the Regents today. Um, Minnesota is nor known as the North Star State. And Morris, in my mind, is known as the pearl in the center of the star. This is a great institution. You will appreciate it more and more as, as you go through your life and when you look back at these marvelous days with many, many crises and uh, many, many rewards. But carry those memories with you. They're great. But do, for, do not forget your university as you go on. You've been given a great education, and you've paid for it with tuition. <laughs> but your tuition covered only a very small part of the cost of your education. You owe a lot to your university, to the state of Minnesota. Several of you asked me, or whispered to me, and some said to me as they went by, do something about tuition. I wish we could, and we are. Uh, I'm glad to see that uh, legislator Lyndon Carlson is here today, because let me tell you about tuition. We want the lowest tuition that you can possibly have. The legislator wants the lowest tuition you can possibly have. But your education is funded from four sources. One is the state contributions. And you know the dire situation that the state is in at the, at the present time. They don't have a lot of money to give us. And we've been cut and cut and cut, not because they wanted to, but because they had no, no options. The second way you can get money is from grants. The third way for research projects, usually. The third way is from gifts. And the fourth way is from tuition. So we're all in a bind. And Talk to the regents, we're fighting for you, but talk to your legislators too. And Lynn, I don't want to do this to you, but, but uh, talk to your local legislator and, and tell him the importance of your education and what, it, what returns it brings to Minnesota. Now, you, the parents have not had an opportunity to congratulate you en masse. Parents, friends, brothers and sisters, wives, husbands, significant others, children. Congratulate your, your graduates now with a good applause. You didn't get this education by yourself, graduates. The, all of those people helped you. They suffered with you, they agonized with you, they were proud with you. And, and this is a big day for them. But by the same token, you owe them a great deal. As I say, you didn't do this all by yourself. They did all of these things with you. Graduates, congratulate your parents, your brothers and sisters, your relatives, your significant others, all of those people back there that are so proud of you. Give them a rousing round of applause, graduates. Come on. <laughs> One of the perks of age and position is the ability to talk as long as you want. Um, I'm not going to do that this afternoon. But I want to tell you why. Number one, <laughs> number one, you're sitting out there in those black gowns that absorb all the heat. Number two, I'm standing up here in a heavy, winter weight, wool worsted gown with heavy, heavy velvet trim. Um, <laughs> I'm hot too. Number three, the mace was in the process of, the, the crystal and the mace was in the process of starting a fire <laughs> in the box. And number four, that nice bright shiny sun is making beautiful bal balloons out there out of those soap bubbles that are floating around. <laughs> But go forth proudly, 
Use your education to the fullest. Don't forget that you owe a lot to society. You owe a lot to your state. You owe a lot to your university. Keep that in your mind as you go through life. And congratulations to all of you. Thank you. Thank you all for being here on the Day of Triumph. And now welcome to our new student center for the first commencement reception to be held in our Oyate room. Thank you. Good travels.